Welcome back. Residents of a Pinellas County community say they shouldn't have to foot the entire multi-million dollar bill to keep their canal from drying up. So we wanted to find out what's behind the water worries along a popular boating waterway. Our I-Team investigator Adam Walzer uncovers a canal controversy that's pitting residents against county and city leaders. A steady stream of boat traffic flows through Tierra Verde's Grand Canal. It's literally hundreds on a, on a, on a busy day. I mean, they're coming in and out. 90% of the boats that come through here are from other areas, Sarasota, Bradenton, you know, Tampa, wherever. They come here to use our fuel docks, to use the marina, to use the uh, restaurant. The canal was dredged when the island was developed in the 1960s, creating waterfront property now lined with condos and luxury homes on both sides. Bill Baumeister has lived on the canal since 1986. Grand Canal has always been dredge free and maintenance free. We've never had an issue. But there are certain events that occurred in the recent decade that has changed all that. Sand from other places has been accumulating on Tierra Verde for the past five years or so when residents are worried what's already happened on this end of the island could happen to them. A study commissioned by Pinellas County says tidal flow issues are to blame. One of two passages to the canal closed. New beaches formed where there was once deep water. The Grand Canal is becoming more narrow and more shallow by the day. Last month, the Pinellas County Commission addressed the issue at a meeting. And over a period of time, about 30,000 cubic yards of sand is, has been eroding from the west shoreline of, of Shell Key, moving to the north and then shifting to the east. Grand Canal residents don't own Shell Key. We have no responsibility for Shell Key. The only person that does is the county and the state. Pinellas County paid $200,000 for the study, but will pass the cost of dredging the canal onto residents. Worst case scenario would be the entirety of the cost at about $3.18 million. The county says the Grand Canal is a private canal, so owners should pay an assessment based on their feet of frontage property. For some owners, that could be tens of thousands of dollars. This is very, very common throughout the state of Florida on how they do dredge projects. But Tierra Verde residents don't believe that's a fair formula in this case. This is not a private canal. This is a commercial commercial waterway. The canal has nine businesses open to the public, including a marina with nearly 500 boat slips, a boat club, a hotel, a restaurant, dolphin tours, and water taxis. So if this canal shuts down, you have hundreds of jobs back behind us that are gonna be affected. You have hundreds of millions of dollars that have been collected over the last 10 years is going to be dried up. And everybody's home that's along this canal is also gonna be devalued. The Tierra Verde Community Association sent a letter to Pinellas County and the city of St. Petersburg, which annexed land around the Grand Canal and collects taxes from those businesses, asking them to help pay for the project. This is a multi-jurisdictional issue. Uh, I believe that we need a fair uh, way to fund it. The county responded in a letter that says those revenues aren't available. The county staff are working to offset the cost by repurposing sand from the dredging project to be used to re-nourish a nearby beach. St. Petersburg Mayor Rick Kreisman has not responded to the letter. The county will hold public hearings and residents will vote on assessments before the end of the year. We don't mind paying our fair share, but we just feel that it should be equitable for everybody who enjoys the Grand Canal. If residents agree to a plan, permits will then be sought from state and federal agencies and the project will have to be put out for bid before any work can start, likely about a year from now. Right now, the timeline that we're seeing um, my concern is it will f uh, close before the dredging can happen. What's going to happen if they wait too long to try to take action here? The canal will close. Our Grand Canal will close. And that will create a fin financial nightmare for everybody. I'm I-Team Investigator Adam Walser taking action for you.